Hi guys, this is Prasid Banerjee from Digit.in. The Panasonic P80-1, who is going to buy this, who should buy this? For that, we first have to tell you what the price of the phone is. It costs 20,000. 19,990 is the price Panasonic is giving you. It is available at 18,990 in retail. So, overall, it's a very good phone like we have told you till now. It is, it's got good enough build and design, not, not impeccable build and design but good enough good enough the build and design is not very bad and it's fingerprint intensive on the screen the screen is very fingerprint intensive but looking at the overall performance of the device you can let go of the fingerprint intensiveness if you want to buy this phone for gamers it's a very good phone if you really multitask on your phone if it's if you use resource intensive apps then this is a very good phone to buy because it does not heat up at all under pressure and performs well enough. So you will buy this if you have that budget of 20,000 and you want a highly good performance from your phone. Then this phone will make sense for you. But on the other hand, if you do not like these big screens, it's, it's a 5.5 inch IPS screen. If you do not like these big screens and these big phones, then this is of course definitely not a phone for you also if you're not going to be using your phone for a lot of things if you're not going to use any resource intensive apps if you're only going to play say games like temple run and subway surfer then you shouldn't be spending on this definitely not spending on this it is also a good choice for people who like cameras who shoot a lot of pictures because on ideal light conditions, your regular daylight conditions, this camera does take good pictures. So that is another range of customers that can go for this phone. Overall, it is not a bad device to buy at all for its price range. It is very good. Competitors for this phone would be things like Micromax, the Canvas Knight and, you know, Carbon Titanium Octane Plus. Also, although the Titanium Octane Plus is priced below this, and that is where Panasonic could probably have priced this device a little lower because it doesn't have the market recognition right now. Although Panasonic is a known name, but in the smartphone market, Panasonic doesn't yet have a stronghold or for that matter, a hold right now. So maybe if it would have priced this phone around 15,000 or even 16,000, it would have been a very, very good phone to buy. But on 20,000, it's a little steep just because of the fact that Panasonic does not have the brand recognition right now. So Micromax Canvas Knight will probably sell a little more, but this phone has beaten Micromax Canvas Knight in many departments, except probably the software on the phone.